Okay, here we've got a video on adding, subtracting and multiplying with decimals. There is an index at the bottom. If you're using a computer, you can use the index to go to directly to the answers to each of the sections. I would strongly suggest that you pause the video and have a go at the questions you want to practice now. Um, if you're watching on a mobile device or a tablet, then you can use the, the links that I'm going to put into the description to jump to each section, or you can just fast forward through the video. Okay, let's get on with the adding decimals. Okay, adding decimals. Um, the only thing we've really got to remember here is to line up the decimal point. So when we've got the two numbers, they need to line up, and at any sort of spaces you've got, because of the way they line up, you should fill those in with zeros to make it easier to keep your columns correct. So if we put a zero in there, we've got five plus zero is five, two plus three is five, the point goes underneath, six and seven is 13, carry one to get 23.55. Sometimes if the numbers aren't too long like this one, but they're, they're like this, try to think of it in terms of money. So you're gonna have two decimal places and all your answers. So this one here, you could think about this as all just money. This one here, we've got a bit too long for money, but uh, all we need to do is to add in a zero here to make them the same size and it's a nice, just almost just, if you just ignore the decimal point and do a standard add, six plus zero, nine plus four is 13, carry one, that makes seven and two, and then you just put the decimal point in at the end, so 2.736. Okay, and the last one, doesn't matter if you have multiple numbers, just make sure your digits line up nice and neatly. Okay, so we've got nice columns, so you're not adding the wrong things together. Zero, zero, and three makes three. Nine and two is 11, carry one. Seven, eight, and five makes 13, carry one. And one and one makes two. And then we've got the decimal point in the middle there, underneath all the points. So there we have adding. Let's move on to some subtraction. Okay, decimal subtraction. I'm going to show you two methods. I'll show you the standard method, 39.4, take away 8.7. Now again, as long as you line up the decimal points, this is just the same as a standard subtraction without decimal point, and the decimal point is just going to go underneath where it is, was before. So it's four, take away seven I can't do, so I need to borrow from the nine into that column, which makes it a 10. So 14 take away seven is seven. Eight take away eight is zero. Three take away zero is three. Now you can do this, if that's not working for you, by adding on to the next whole number to make nine or 9.0. I'm adding on 0 0.3 and then from there, I'm adding on 1 to make 10 and from 10 I'm going to go to 39.4 by adding on 29.4 and then I just add up these things 29.4, 1 and 0.3 so I get the same, hopefully the same answer, 30.7 Okay, the next one is a money question. So 13.26 take away eight pounds 42. Six take away two is four. Two take away four I can't do, so I need to borrow from the next column. To get a 10, to make 12 take away four is eight. Again, I can't do two take away eight, so I need to borrow from this column. 12 take away eight is four, so four pound 84. Okay, when your question's in money, you must have two decimal places in your answer. Again, we could do this by adding on. So if we start by 8.42 and think about what I've got to add on to make 8.50, well, I've got to add on 0 0.08. And then from there to make um, nine pounds, I would add on 50, uh, think about it as in pence, it's 50 pence. And I'm going to come down here because I don't want to go too far across. From nine pounds to thirteen pounds twenty. Well, I could go to ten pounds. Let's be safe. Let's go to ten pounds by adding one. And then let's go back this way. 
to get to £13.26 I need to add on £3.26 so I've got 3.26 plus 1 plus 0 0.50 plus 0 0.08 and add all that up and we should get a 4 carry 1 8 and 4 so £4.84 again OK, last one I'm just going to do by um, standard method. So we've got 76.8 and we've got 9.651. Fill in this with zeros and we need to borrow from here to make a 7. Put a 10 in there. I need to get something into the zero here. So I need to borrow again from there and put a 10 in there. So 10 take away 1 is 9. 9 take away 5 is 4. 7 take away 6 is 1. 6 take away 9 I can't do, so I need to borrow from there to get 16 take away 9 is 7 and we're just left with a 6, so 67.149 a particularly tricky one to finish with OK, let's move on to multiplication multiplication, decimal by a whole number um, now I would strongly suggest you do this in the following way all decimal multiplications that I would do by not actually rub that out by not doing the decimal just do 36 times 4 ignore that point for now do the multiplication 6 4 is 24 carry 2 4 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14 and then the way to know where the decimal point goes if you've got one decimal place in the question because we have 3.6 there's only one number after a decimal point say for example this was 0 0.4 there would be this decimal place and this decimal place so your answer would have two decimal places but it's only one in this one so it's going to be 14.4 again 576 times 4 ignore decimal point 6 fours are 24 carry 2 7 fours are 28 plus 2 is 30 carry 3 7 fours sorry 5 fours are 20 plus 3 is 23 and we have one decimal place in our question we need to put one decimal place in the answer so it's going to be 230.4 and one more to finish with 812 times by 6 6 twos 12 carry 1 6 times 1 is 6 plus 1 is 7 6 eighths are 48 and then this time we've got one two decimal places in the question so we need one two decimal places in the answer so it's going to be 48.72 now you can sometimes you, you can do this by not really thinking about where the decimal point goes if you just thought about this as being roughly 8 times 6, 6 eighths of 48 you know that decimal point must go after the 48 or something in that sort of area so if this was 47 point something you would know the decimal point goes after that because the answer should be around about 48 so it's in the 40s so you put the point in to make it into the 40s just the same as this one 57 times 4 if I did 60 times 4 that would be 240 so I want to put decimal point so I've got 200 something do that if I put it here it would be 23 Put it here, it's 230, so that's where it needs to go. Okay, so those are some examples on adding, subtracting, and multiplying. You can go back through using the index to the other questions if you're using a computer and not a mobile device.